Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the shop today. So today I am going to look at some mods that I'm, uh, one of the first mods I did to the Yeti Smart Bench. Uh, it is set up for hooking up to a, like a v vacuum cleaner, like shop vac or uh, some type of, uh, like I use actually the Festool vac system, the HEPA vacs and stuff. They work fabulously. Um, for most applications. Um, I plan on doing some cabinets, which are gonna draw, um, create a lot more debris. Uh, the swarf coming off that, uh, running bigger bits, thicker, um, maybe pushing a little bit longer, a little bit harder. So, creates more dust. The other thing is, um, is the amount, even when I'm doing small stuff, um, I had my little mini, uh, vacuum from uh, Festool and it plugged up fairly quickly because you're just creating so much stuff. And I have a dust collector uh, with a large bin and I'd rather do that. So one of the things I want to do is, and um, I got this idea from Eric Schiller from uh, Yeti Southeast, um, who is who I bought the machine from, who has been a great support uh, whenever I've had questions or trying to help me out on different things uh, in this learning process that I'm going through, uh, learning CNCs. So, so what Eric had done is taken um, some gutter parts and modified those so they would just snap on and off. And I was like, well, let's take a look what he did. And I was originally was going to just do what he did. And then I started playing with it some more. I was like, well, maybe I can modify it a little bit. So. Let's take a look at what I did, uh, how I've got this set up, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so what I did is I actually brought, uh, normally the, the air hose, the little inch and a half or inch and a quarter hose hooks up in the back side here. Is, so there really wasn't a lot of uh, room to work, but on the front side, you had the dust shoe that we, you'd take on and off to set your Z head. So. What Eric had done is he'd taken this piece and kind of put a groove in it and it kind of straddled this piece here. So what I did was I'm actually, this is mounted on and will, and can stay on while I'm using it. Um, so I think at this point, I mean, actually you can see, let me get in here, you can kind of see, it's a little harder to see, but you can still see where it's at back in there. Um, so there's still enough room to see it. It's a little bit harder to see, um, but let's go ahead and we'll pull this off. So you can see where this is mounted. Uh, I've got a hole in here for the laser and this is, um, I believe it's a two by three by three inch uh, gutter adapter um, that I just got at one of the home centers. So we'll pull this off here. All right, so here you can see that gutter part. So it was two by three by three. So a couple things I had to do in order to get it to, on the upper beam is I took it to the belt sander, sanded this down on a little bit on each side. You can see how it's a little bit thicker here and it gets a little thinner in here. And then I also drilled a hole for the laser and then two mounting holes. Um, and then I ended up cutting this out. So there was two, two holes here that were already threaded on. And I know these have a little bit different styles between whatever model you have. Um, these are all already threaded holes for whatever reason. And uh, so normally, this is upside down, your dust shoe. Let's see what that. Dust shoe goes in like that um, when you want to check on your, uh, to set your Z height. So with this in here, um, I've got those two holes, bolt that down in there, and then I've got a three inch drain to three inch PVC pipe that I got hooked up on a dust collection, so. Um, there is, you can see it's pretty close in this dimension here. There, this is really close down to the bottom, but it doesn't touch. 
there's enough room um, and we'll show this in a minute to set the Z height and then uh, yeah so this will I can st leave this on doesn't interfere at, um, except on the console but I'll, I'll mount this back up and we can see what he did to, to modify that so the one thing that did happen is this wanted to when it came all the way out wanted to hit just ever so slightly on here not enough stop it it would you could hear it clicking so what i end up doing is take this off so we can see it is i took this bracket which is just a bolt on either side and if you should be able to see it's just got an ever so slight bend so i just took it off so i'm not messing with the console and then just bent this back you know maybe three sixteenths of an inch at, at most and that's enough just to drop it down and not interfere now in most operations because this is in closer it except when it's all the way out on the very end we'll turn that on uh, except when it's very on the very outside edge it is not doesn't interfere with the uh, the covering of the console. The way Eric had his was out further, so it, it was another four inches out. So you almost completely covered the console. So, so that's the fullest extent of how much cover, uh, how much you would cover the console. But you pop that off, and if you just moved it back very little, opens up the whole thing. So you can get to all except for this top. And then with your, your Z, that slips right in there. Easy enough to do that. Out. Uh, and then this can stay on. That's that, that's the, one of the things I was trying to do. Is I like to stay this, uh, keep this on. All right. I hope that was helpful. Uh, it's a mod that I haven't run by anybody else. Actually, if you've got a, a Yeti Smart Bench, I'd like to see some feedback from other people on your thoughts. If this is, you know, potentially a problem, uh, I'm not anticipating any problems but you just never know so if other people with the yeti smart bench um have tried something similar to this or different uh leave a comment down below um always looking to kind of make things work a little bit better but again thanks for stopping by the shop and hope you found this helpful and we'll see you next time thanks